Andrew Barry is really about to do it again, isn't he? Like, I swear, that dude just does not know when to quit. And honestly, I love that about him. Right? He's always looking to improve the team. Like, damn, man. We are so blessed to have Andrew Barry as our GM. But what's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back with another Cleveland Browns video for you guys. And boy, do I have some news to talk about tonight. As, of course, I have an update on the Brandon Ayuk situation. As it appears, it could be coming to a close rather soon. Because according to the 49ers NBC Sports Twitter page, and I quote, Breaking, the 49ers have the framework of a Brandon Ayuk trade with both the Browns and the Patriots, a source told at Mayoko NBC Sports. Now, for those who don't know who Matt Mayoko is, he is essentially the go-to guy when it comes to 49ers news. He's arguably their top beat writer. So if there's anything you want to know about the 49ers, he's the guy to go to. Now they wrap up the tweet by saying, Now it's up to Ayuk to decide if he will accept either team's contract terms. So the way it's looking, it's either New England or Cleveland for Brendan Ayuk. And I'll tell you what, do I think we can get Ayuk? No. I mean, after all, we got Andrew freaking Barry. He learned from arguably the best GM in the NFL when it comes to finessing other teams. He went to the Howie Roseman School of Finessing. And no one, Andrew Barry, he's going to swindle Brennan Ayuk away from San Francisco for next to nothing. Now, honestly, I think an Ayuk trade would involve Amari Cooper. And that would stink because we love Amari, right? He wants to be here. But let's think about this for a second, right? You look at Brennan Ayuk. Essentially, he's a younger, healthier, and faster version of Amari Cooper. And he would come here with an extension pretty much already done. That's the way it's going to be. Yep. You do not trade for Brennan Ayuk unless you have an extension pretty much done. Like a handshake agreement. And man, not going to lie. A Browns receiving core consisting of Brennan Ayuk, Jerry Judy, Elijah Moore, second year Cedric Tillman, David Bell, Jamari Thrash. That would go hard. Like very hard. Yep. Now how would the Browns pay for that contract? Well, uh, we have yet to restructure Deshaun Watson's contract, so there you go. That's a way to remedy it, <laughs> right? But man, oh man, like I said, it would suck to get rid of Amari, but dude, Ayuk is a dog. Straight up, man. Watched some highlights of him recently, and that dude, all he does is make plays. Like, for real. I mean, he would eat in our offense, alongside Judy, and of course, Elijah Moore. <laughs> he could stay on the damn field, because he's had some uh, concussion issues lately. I don't want Elijah's brain turning to mush. I need that dude to be careful. <laughs> Not to mention, you know, our running game and the tight ends we have, right? And, of course, Deshaun Watson's ability to scramble and extend plays. Like, my God, dude. Imagine trying to defend our offense with Brandon Ayuk. And you thought Amari Cooper was a headache. <laughs> Damn. Like, you think you got everyone covered. Next thing, Ayuk, you know, gets open. And then there's Deshaun Watson throwing a deep ball to Ayuk for the touchdown. Right? So, we'll see if old Andrew Barry can uh, get this done. Now, the main reason why I want us to get this done so bad isn't just for the Browns themselves. Right? For this team. But for the fact that for the longest time now, Steeler fans have essentially said Ayuk is a Steeler. And to see the Browns go out and swipe him from right their nose. Oh my god. 
That would be glorious. I would legit be right here laughing my ass off at Steeler fans. Like, I would legit do a stream for like half an hour just laughing at them. I would have the tweet saying that we traded for Brennan Ayuk on the screen. Just be sitting here laughing. Like, busting my lungs laughing at Steeler fans. Because, again, they thought Ayuk was going to Pittsburgh. Only for Andrew Barry to swoop in and take him and bring him to Cleveland. And then they would have to suffer because they'd have to watch him torch their defense twice a year for the next several years. And that would be even more glorious. Especially if he scored a touchdown or two on him. <laughs> so yeah, Andrew Barry, if you want to see Stuler fans cry obsessively, like on Twitter and here on YouTube, make the trade. Like, legit. Do it. In the words of General Palpatine, or Emperor Palpatine, do it. <laughs> Good, Andrew. Good. Do it. <laughs> no, seriously, pull the trigger, Andrew. Make the trade. Make Steeler fans cry. We all want to see it. <laughs> but yeah, on a real note, I'd be down for it. I really would. And again, it would suck getting rid of Amari, but he only had this year coming up on his contract. It's not like we're trading him with like a few years left. No, this is the final year of his contract. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. And again, if we make this move, I will go live and I will laugh at Steeler fans for legit a half hour. Not lying at all. So if you want to see that, make the move, Andrew. I know you'll want to see it. I know Stuler fans don't, but I do. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, we'll see uh, when this happens, because it sounds like it's going to happen. He's either going to the Patriots or the Browns. Watch him go to the Patriots, which honestly wouldn't even be a bad thing, because then we'd be able to keep Amari and uh, people won't be mad. So with that being said, I'm Crazy Dog. Let's go, Browns. And again, make the move, Andrew. Make Steeler fans cry. I'll see you guys later. I'm out. Bye-bye. Yeah.